when you make it don't be generous because generous people end up on i blow it welcome guys welcome please double click the like button subscribe and comment down below bongani fasi appears on i blow it talking about how he blew his money and how he contributed in popular musicians growth and success i made them he said i offered them a place to stay i gave them money and my everything this is how they thank me but i guess that's how i blew my money three weeks ago it was reported that bongani fasi wants investigation on missing 25 million from his mother's estate bongani fasi told the papers that he is investigating the disappearance of more than 25 million from his mother brenda fasi's estate the 39 year old said his mother was robbed when her publishing rights were sold by one of the executors for only 1 million rand, which went missing. Fasi could not be drawn to comment on the matter, choosing only to say the embezzlement of his mother's money dates as far back as 2004. I can't suggest you follow the look at all the way back to 2004 when my brother passed. Please apply yourself and investigate this matter before we proceed, he said. This is not the first time that Fassi has accused those who handed over his mother's estate of having cheated on her. Last year, former music manager Lane Stir slapped Fassi with a 6 million defamation suit after accusing him of spreading intentional falsehood against him. The false and defamatory statements made and broadcast by the defendant and his confident Messi Pakale have had the effect of lowering the reputation of the plaintiff Lanes in the eyes of his community in that the plaintiff is perceived by those whom publication occurred as an unprofessional manager who exploit his clients and deals drugs to them, Stir said in his court papers to Farsi. The former Josie Group member told the publication his mother's estate was concluded in 2017 and her husband at the time, Tlantlambambo, should have been the beneficiary that, as they had entered into a civil marriage. The late singer died a few months before she turned 40 due to respiratory and cardiothoracic challenges. It was reported that post-mortem also showed Farsi had overdosed on cocaine prior to falling into a coma from which she would never recover. It was also reported that former music lawyer Graham Gilfillan, who passed away last week, had initiated an order for the former Brenda Farsi music manager to pay $3 million into Farsi's estate, following a lawsuit filed by the estate's executor in which Gifilan served as the business investigator. Meanwhile, music producer Chico Twala has alleged that Gifilan had been receiving 50,000 per month from the estate while Bongani received no support and was homeless. And that's the news for now, guys. Please remember to double click the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you soon on the next one. Cheers.